Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon with the Hobbytown Hobbyplex here for the Team Associated Reedy Summer Series Finals. This is uh, round six out of six, and uh, we're going to take a look around. We might get some interviews. We're going to check out our, uh, our awards, our door prizes, our grand prizes. We're going to check out the track. Uh, got a lot of stuff to do, so let's get to it. All right, we are here on practice day at the Team Associated Summer Series, and I uh, wanted to show everybody our awards table. So the top 10 in each class will receive a plaque. And uh, thank you to Boom RC for making our plaques. Uh, they always take really good pictures. And uh, I like the size, we make them heavy. Um, so you really feel like uh, you won something. And then of course our grand prizes in each class. So uh, everybody that made five out of six gets thrown into a hat uh, at random, no matter how bad you did. If you're last, you still have a shot at a car. And you can see here that each class that we have has a giveaway prize, a grand prize, including Plex Spec, our beginner class. And then the uh, door prize table. So everybody that signs up uh, today that's made five out of six gets a bag with a raffle ticket in it. And then they come over here and they match the raffle ticket to their larger uh, prize. So the bags have a couple of small items, usually um, the smaller stuff that these guys donate, like uh, glue, tire bands, uh, maybe some uh, uh, plugs, stuff like that. And then uh, the larger item, uh, we try to try to make it so they come over here and, and match it up. So uh, that's the awards and the prize table. And uh, now we're going to move on to the uh, to the wall. All right. So this is the uh, wall of fame. And uh, if you are the champion in your class at the summer series the following year you get your poster up on the wall give you an idea of how big these uh, post ugh, posters are just hit my hip that's great so they're uh, both 30 by uh, uh, I can't even remember anyways they're uh, they're standard poster size how about that so you can see uh, Caden Fuller last year he won uh, stock two-wheel drive stock four-wheel drive and stadium truck so he saved us a little bit of money <laughs> we were able to combine his classes that he won. Uh, there's Brayton Rakowski's last year's uh, Flexback champ. Tom Rinderneck, last year's uh, mod two wheel drive and four wheel drive champ. He's at the Worlds right now in uh, Slovakia. Doing pretty good over there. I think he made top 30 in two wheel drive. We'll see how he does tomorrow in four wheel. And Brewer was the uh, short course champ. And uh, Rob Turner was the uh, probably will be the last Pro 4 Summer Series champ as we did not have that as a class this year. So uh, this year, all the winners will uh, get their picture taken. And then uh, usually around April, I make out the posters. So uh, just more stuff that we do here for you guys. Uh, if you attend the summer series and you do well, um, yeah. So moving on. All right, so here's the off-road track. Uh, I believe uh, James Nelson now is out there running right now in his 13.5 four-wheel drive buggy. Um, we always try to change the layout at least a little bit per round. Um, this being the last round, uh, we didn't change much. We did add a jump over here right there we brought out some of our carpet jumps just for something different um, but this layout was a lot of fun and uh, we changed it three weeks ago so we just kind of left it alone but uh, Friday nights doors open at 4 and it's practice from 4 to 10 for summer series days and then uh, we come back tomorrow at 7 in the morning start racing at 11 we're usually done by about 8 and then uh, tomorrow of course we'll be sticking around a little bit longer for the awards and uh, all the prize giveaways and stuff so um, man it's uh, it's a lot of fun to race here on the dirt at the Plex. Got the big track. It's uh, 150 by 75, and uh, lots of elevation changes. So uh, if you've never been here, uh, make some time, make it a bucket list track to come and race on our big spring race, uh, end of April, our summer series once a month in the summer, and our Nitro Winter Series starts up uh, the first weekend of November, and it goes through March. So always stuff going on here at the Plex. Twenty-five Oh. Twenty-one
Hey guys, uh, so here we are. This is uh, Ken Peterson. He is one of the guys from the Hutchinson area that comes up. And uh, I don't remember, did you come for the full series last year? No, we made it for, I think, five, four out of the six. We made four out of the six. Okay. We, we were going to cover the finale, but then you had regionals here. So we had to choose between oh, regionals yeah, and the finale, right. and we chose regionals. Wow, wow. So, well, but we, after seeing what's here for the finale, I think we made a mistake last year. <laughs> <laughs> well, regionals was fun, too. Yeah, but it was fun. Yeah, Thank the you. summer series is... is Getting, being here for the finals and making it is definitely, uh, definitely a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. um, so your, what classes did you run this year? This year I ran uh, Mod Buggy, Expert Stock Buggy, and then 17.5. And then uh, a couple times, and this will be my third time running the over 40 mod, throwing in for some extra. Uh, what do you think of the 40 plus mod edition this year? We've never done I, it before. I like it, um, especially you know if you, if you run mod and over 40. That over 40 gives you a chance to try some different stuff that maybe you're like, hey, I'm gonna try a little camber link change or maybe um, some different tire or just something little tweak and see if it works and then carry that into mod and back and forth. So, kind of like it. Nice. Um, so, uh, I mean, what do you think of, of the Team Associated Summer Series? Give us your give us your thought. Um, you know, are you having fun? Is it, is it worth the trip? You know, I've been coming up here for 11, 12 years, and I've never gone home mad, angry, unhappy. I always go home happy and can't wait to come back and race here again. The tracks are always fun. That's a compliment to you, of course, on making the tracks uh, fun. There's uh, never any, as I call them, pucker sections where it's like roll the dice and hope you get over it. Um, so that always makes for real clean racing. And then when I look at all the, the prizes and the giveaways here uh, for the race, it's just a good time. It's a one-day event, too, um, yeah. so you don't have to take a full weekend. That's been real nice uh, and makes it easy to get the kitchen pass from the wife to get out the door to come up here because uh, it's you know not a full weekend. Uh, we still have our Sunday to do stuff with family. And you're from Hutch. Tell us about um, Hutchinson and uh, what events they have coming up. Yeah, so our big event coming up is the Fall Classic. Uh, it's kind of our um, main event that we always have every year. It's, uh, what, the 35th annual? Is that yeah, right? it's been around for a really long time. the 35th annual this year. Um, we're taking registrations now so that we can reserve uh, pit spots for people, and we're already looking to set a record. We already have well over 100 people registered, which means we're probably going to have well over 200 entries this year. Yep. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes with body count. Everybody runs two classes usually, so. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you got any sponsors or anything you want to mention while I, while I got you on camera? Absolutely. Definitely want to thank uh, Team Associated for the opportunity to represent uh, the B6.1. It's been running phenomenal all throughout the series. And then also I do run uh, the Tekken uh, speed control and motor combo. And so definitely thank you to Tekken. Nice. And you got your own, right? Isn't this isn't this you? I know. that I should... I should uh, thank Team Rattlecan, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, these are the three-in-one car stands with the uh, diff building this, on this side and your shock building on this side, and then it's also a uh, car stand. So definitely a nice car stand. Shows off a little bit of bling in the pits as well. Yep, nice. All right, well, uh, yep, thanks for uh, talking hey, with thanks us. for the opportunity. Appreciate it. All right, we're here with, uh, with Nate Sutherland, uh, Caden Fuller, and Owen Vanderbeek, three of the younger uh, drivers that we've had here at the Summer Series. How are you guys doing? Uh, great here. And you guys, 
You guys are all Des Moines kids, right? You're from the Des Moines area? Yeah. All right, and so uh, what? tell us your classes. Nate, what do you run? Um, I run 17.5 two-wheel drive stock and expert, and four-wheel drive 13.5, and then 13.5 truck. And out of those four, what would you say is your favorite class here? Mm, probably four-wheel drive. Nah, okay. Caden? Uh, I run my buddy and 17.5 stock buddy. And you're the 2000... 19 Roar Stock Truck National Championship cr champion, correct? Yep. That's awesome. So, uh, uh, what's your obviously what's your favorite class to run? And, mod. Mod. Yeah. yeah. Owen. Um, I'm running uh, two wheel F, uh, stock F expert and four wheel drive uh, 135. God, 135 four wheel drive and mod buggy. What's your favorite class? I would probably say four wheel. Um, the best I'm doing in right now is probably four wheel. So yeah. that's my favorite class right now. I'm working on that. The, the two classes I'm probably working on is mod and two wheel. Okay. So uh, the three of you, I, I'm going to ask you a pretty vague question. I know you guys are from Des Moines. Uh, you guys mostly race uh, weekly at the compound. Is that where you guys all race at? Uh, yep. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. So uh, tell us, tell us what you like about here. What's what what does the summer series mean for you guys? What what's I love it all about? The big track. I love the track is awesome. Always, it's got the best layout. Caden. Yeah, I like the big track too. Uh, the nice pit area. Um, I mostly like the track because it's smooth. It's big. It's just awesome to race on. Best jumps ever, especially the carpet jump out there. I love that too. Um, it's so smooth. I mean. I mean, Compound is also better, uh, good, but I would say Omaha is uh, Hobby Town, Hobby Flex is the best. So, <clears throat> are, are you guys going to get, well, Caden, you already have your picture on the wall. Last year you ran, you won three different classes, so it just makes sense that you're the 2019 Roar Truck National Champion. I'm sure you're going to be, I'm sure you're going to win some more, but for you guys, what, uh, what would it mean to get your picture up on that wall over there for next year? and? And I, you guys will probably be back next year, right? Yeah. For next year's series. So, Nate, what would that mean for you? I would love to. I, and I've been working really hard. It definitely got better from the start of the season. That's definitely true. You were absolutely right about that. You make pretty much all the mains now, and <clears throat> your stuff holds together well. Caden, what does it mean to have your picture now on our wall for the summer, and you get to take it home tomorrow night? It feels great. Next step will probably be to win my buddy. Yeah, yep. Gotta knock me out of the way first though. Um, it would feel great to just be on the wall first place and four wheel. I'd say Nate would probably take it over in two wheel because I am not the best <coughs> in two wheel, but I'm working on it so bad. Um, uh, dad is, my dad Matt Vanderbeek is just working so hard every day. Last night he stayed up until like one o'clock working on race cars and I loved it. Man, and well I, I think your brother's gonna be on the four wheel drive wall. Yep. So, uh, the way it's looking. Hopefully, I mean there's a lot of tough drivers here. Uh, and uh, it'd just be so great to have my picture on the wall. Nice. All right, well, uh, the three of you guys, thanks for sitting down with us and uh, we'll catch up with you later. All right, we're here with Mac Vanderbeek. He is Team Associated's uh, regional manager. Um, what does that mean? How many how many states is, is, it, is it by state or it's by region? Okay. So I'm Region Eight. So that's oh, Iowa, obviously. Nebraska, okay. All right. Uh, I see how that works. Kansas and Missouri. So. And you've been uh, you've been that's that's kind of been your thing with Associated now for a while. I think it's going on about uh, seven years now. Ever yeah. since the program started. So. Okay. Yep. And. Uh, so you're kind of in charge of uh, picking up local talent, that sort of thing, and and uh, getting them to come on the team. And yeah, I mean, part of it is uh, just the you know the brand recognition and uh, being a representative or team associated and Reedy, and um, the other part is to you know to scout talent, right? Uh, which we've been pretty successful with with that program. Uh, a lot of the uh, you know local drivers, uh, you know, there's plenty plenty of good talent to choose from. So. Yeah. Uh, obviously, and I do also rely, uh, since I can't get to all the tracks in all the regions, uh, I do rely on some of our drivers that are more local to their own home tracks to, uh, you know, to give me feedback. I, I watch a lot of, 
you know, lap times and results and stuff from the Clive RC and, you know, uh, anytime I can pick up on how the guys are doing and, and who's progressing, I try to try to keep uh, tabs on that too when I can. So, uh, you and I have been doing this a long time. A couple minutes. <laughs> and uh, I know that... Um, for guys like us, uh, just being a driver for Team Associated or even TLR is is, is a pretty big deal in our lives. Um, Absolutely. How does that? I mean, what what does it mean to you be, to drive for Team Associated and, and to, to come to an event like this that's sponsored by Team Associated? We've got all these guys here running running those cars. I mean, um, you know, it's obviously very important to me. I, I've uh, been uh, been uh, you know involved in the racing in one form or another uh, for a lot of my life and uh, to be able to do this at a high level uh, it's tougher now <laughs> yeah as, uh, as the scale is going the opposite way but it's fun watching me but you have your kids yeah I got kids uh, and I get to watch some of our other young uh, regional guys coming up and doing well nationally so yep. I mean uh, Tom Rinderneck uh, obviously was a, a young kid I pulled out of the um, mm -hmm pulled out of the track uh, with some help. Uh, my buddy Rico had been racing with him quite a bit and, and kind of noticed it and um, you know he's he's moved on from AE but uh, um, still uh, you know I was happy to be part of that. My son obviously growing up with him uh, coming up through I've got a lot of good and that's Ale Alex Vanderbeek. Alex Vanderbeek yes uh, you know doing well. Um, he's podiumed at a national I think uh, he got third in short course at the 16 yep. Nats here. Yep. Yeah, he's going to have, I think, just looking at the points, I'm pretty sure he's got four-wheel drive pretty much locked up. I think he's good in four-wheel. He, he has to have a lot of help, I think, in two-wheel. In fact, I don't even know if he can get two-wheel. But Two-wheel uh, drive is like Alex's nemesis here. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, <laughs> he's come he's close been, so many times. He's been strong, but, uh, you know, it just doesn't work out. And, you know, it's a combination of uh, um, just a lot of really good local talent. So, yeah, that too. Uh, you know, we have a we have a pretty strong region. Uh, the guys when they travel all do pretty well. Uh, but kind of back to the team associated thing, I <clears throat> I, I, I kind of flip flopped. Uh, you know, coming up in my racing uh, between a few different brands, and um, I think it was uh, probably about 05 or 06. I had BQ'd my third or fourth time at a decent sized race and. Uh, one of my good buddies, uh, Tony Leatherman, pulled me aside and he said, you know, we got the speed, you just on the consistency, stick with the car, uh, fix your program, and then just worry about lap time. So um, that kind of got me progressing uh, the way I wanted to. When I got on with Team Associated, I started hitting some larger events uh, to try to get in front of uh, guys that were factory drivers at the time, Scott Brown, the Fall Classic, um, yeah. guys like him that would travel and, and were you know, good representatives of Team Associated, so that's kind of how I chased my portion of it. And then um, I think it was about three years later when the, uh, Brent approached me about the regional program, and you know, I asked if uh, <clears throat> asked if I want to be a part of it, and I said, uh, sure. Just uh, keep in mind, you're going to have to kick me out of the club because yeah. <laughs> once I'm in, I'm I'm, I'm going to hold the reins as tight as I can and have as much fun with it as I can. So it's been a great thing. Um, Team Associates has been the title sponsor of the Summer Series since 2014. Uh, what what about this particular series that we do here at the Plex that keeps you coming back regardless of who's sponsoring it? I mean, I, it's yeah, important I mean, to be here. I don't. It's great that Team Associated sponsors it. Um, you know, uh, I would say initially um, <clears throat> it wasn't directly on my radar uh, just because we weren't doing a lot of traveling. I was kind of in a different place then. And, uh, and when Team Associated came on, I wanted to make a point, obviously, as a driver um, to, and, and a regional manager to support the series. And, and it's been a great thing. I, I, I would come do it regardless at this point. It's just a good facility. You run a great track. Uh, you know, it's always very highly competitive. Um, and, you know, it's, a, it's just a good facility overall. Uh, tracks are, con you know, the track is... Whether it's you know a little looser or a little uh, tighter uh, as far as the track goes, it's always consistent. Yeah. Uh, you know throughout the day, so you're not chasing the car a lot. Um, typically, the only thing we're chasing is you know tread height and <laughs> foam and yeah. uh, just the, just the small uh, things that get you the tents you need. So. 
Cool. That's uh, really good. So we appreciate uh, being a part of it, and I'm very thankful that Seam Associated has been, uh, you know, such a good title sponsor. I love watching people light up when the kits at the end of the season, the kits that get given away. That is fantastic. Uh, guys really look forward to that and all the door prizes and through all the sponsors so it's just a great series yeah all right man all right. yep well uh thank you very much and uh owen's over here making sure that you said Maryland. everything the correct way so Maryland. all right this is uh this is the next uh little alex coming up so this is owen vanderbeek yep. nine year old so nice we're, we're a work in progress all right thanks guys thanks all right this is uh will brinton here, he's one of our, uh, I guess we could call him a Hobbyplex local. He's pretty much here every single week racing with us. How's it going? Pretty good. Um, so, you're uh, you're one of the local guys here that's actually sponsored by Team Associated. Um, can you tell us about how that came about, uh, about what time, and, and, and what it means to you to drive for Team Associated? Um, well, for me, like, it was a life goal of mine to drive for Associated. Um, I drove for another company, and they're not really around anymore, probably 2011, and um, I was at a club race in Des Moines, Iowa, and uh, I believe I TQ'd and won uh, their local club race, and uh, it was like towards the end of the year, and Mac Vanderbeek, the regional team manager here, he said, uh, so do you drive for those guys? And I said, well, yeah, for now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I worked my way up through the regional development team, and uh, now I'm on the race team, and um, for me, like, I started racing in probably 2005, 2004, when 18 scale was really big, and, uh, you know, it was like, 10, like your 10 scale is kind of where it's at, and, you know, you, you, I wanted to be a team associated driver, like, that was something I wanted to try for, hopefully have someday, and, uh, you know, it's kind of an accomplishment of mine to even be a part of the team so what um be, being a local here i mean obviously you enjoy racing here obviously what about the summer series that really i mean i know it's something personally i look forward to the summer series more than just about anything else we do mm -hmm. i mean are you kind of on the same page with that or yeah it's kind of turned into a you know region eight regionals every month you know we've get added more and more people every year and you know uh, the first summer series I ran it was still outdoor and I uh, I don't even remember what I raced I think I I know I raced a B4 um, that was the two wheel that I ran and short course and short course yeah, yeah. I, ran, I ran I had a really badass uh, SC10 with a Quaker State body that yep. thing was awesome I think it was always sideways and yeah. it was like super fun to drive and fun to watch uh, but like for me, the summer series is uh, uh, you know a, a cool series. You know we have great prizes. Uh, we get people from all over the region, and sometimes that come in. We had a guy one round from California. I and he's a super nice guy. It's really brought in a lot of uh, people together, and people come to the, the track to experience it. And uh, this facility, I mean, we're spoiled. We are absolutely spoiled here. We have, I would consider it the best dirt track. We have the best carpet uh, touring car track best carpet off-road track um, great pitting air conditioned pitting um, I mean you can't beat it I, I, hobby shop has everything you need um, I mean we are absolutely spoiled and people that come you know that come here and race and they're new they think this is the norm you know and it's not this is uh, uh, you know the end, end all beat all for me I mean I, I really enjoy this place I drive an, an hour every week just to come here and practice and race um, I used to race a lot or practice and race a lot more um, I used to come up on Tuesday nights club race off-road come Wednesday night race touring car uh, and then race Friday nights uh, off-road and then practice on Saturday uh, but and I'm married now, now so. you're married. Want, want, want. Speak of the devil. <laughs> yeah, speak of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one more thing before I lose battery life. Uh, what I mean, what does it mean for you to have Team Associated be our title sponsor here at the at the Summer Series? This is year six now. Uh, what does that mean to you? Uh, for me, um, you know, it's kind of like uh, backing up that they're one of the best companies in the industry. Uh, you know, they they provide a kit prize for every class. Uh, they, you know, other prizes, uh, motor speed controls, batteries, all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, you have me, Mac, Alex Vanderbeek, Kyle Gannon, 
Um, Tony Leatherman. Uh, if there's anybody else I'm forgetting, I'm sorry, but you know you have some of the best regional support here. Uh, you know I was helping a, a, a couple of guys earlier this at, this evening. You know drop what I'm doing and work on their car, and um, you know it just it makes you uh, thankful that you know like I don't know how to describe it like they're uh, they're. On top of the, the local support, you also have the support with the, the giveaways and um, you know it's definitely a prestigious company and I'm glad that they keep doing this. Uh, I mean, it, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not really sure what else I can say about it. But. <laughs> nice. Alright, well, um, uh, we're going to see who gets the tally mark tomorrow. Yeah. Between you and I, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll let you get to it and uh, we appreciate it, man. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Yep. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, I just wanted to get you guys in on uh, what we do here for the Team Associated Reedy Summer Series year after year. Um, got in some good interviews. Uh, we got some good footage of the track and pit area and all of our awards and stuff that we do. Um, can't thank Team Associated and Reedy enough, so make sure that you uh, check them out in the description below. And uh, also, thanks to our sponsors that donated door prizes, um, J Concepts, ProTech A-Main, RPM, uh, Motive and Gravity RC, um, AKA, Futaba, and of course uh, the Hobbytown Hobbyplex uh, for letting me continue to work here year after year and uh, put up this amazing facility that we have to race on. So um, if you've never been to Omaha before to check us out, put us on your bucket list and uh, join us for a club race or one of our larger events. Um, get on our Facebook pages and check out our calendar. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I got for now. It's late. It's almost 10 o'clock. It is 10 o'clock, so we're going to try to get out of here and get ready for qualifying tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe, like, tell your friends, and uh, we'll make another video for you soon.